Hey guys, it's Saint here. Um, I'm just gonna bring you a first After Effects tutorial on how to use the No Light Factory properly. Um, one of my mates, LT Donkey, on YouTube, he commented, like, well, he sent me a message saying how do you get your No Light Factory working properly and how to see all the lenses instead of the actual one when you get to No Light Factory and you see the shitty default ones, yeah, you don't want that there. They're still alright, but I, I'd personally change it up a bit. So, okay, guys, um, anyway, you just want to open up your After Effects. I got After Effects CS4. No Light Factory works for CS4 and CS5, so it's all good. So, once After Effects has opened up, you should have No Light Factory. Um, it's taking quite a while for me to open up because Fraps is lagging the screen, so yeah. Thank you, Fraps. But once it's done opening up, it should be pretty sweet. Hopefully, my mic is alright now, and yeah. Um, my other tutorial on Sony Vegas, it was pretty crappy the quality of my mic, but hopefully, it should be alright now. Um, okay, when you come across After Effects, you have your project clip here. Um, all you want to do is just drag your clip, so I'll just open that up. So I'll just find the clip. Um, my next edit, guys, will be a first After Effects Twixter edit. And hopefully that turns out pretty mad. That's my project that I've just uploaded on YouTube. 149 megabytes, I know. It's only 130 mi 130. Oh, 1 minute and 30 seconds. Fucking hell. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm just going to find a clip. Not a, not my Call G4 clips, because for some reason I have to crop them up. And when I scratch them out, they turn out shit. I don't know why, but they, j they just do. Uh, holy shit. I'm just gonna edit this thing I got off YouTube, free HD crap, to edit. It's just for a test, you know. Um, okay, once you have your clip up here, you just wanna drag it down to the time thing. Sorry, I'm not really familiar with <laughs> After Effects words, I'm more used to Sony Vegas, but yeah, I'm getting over the Sony Vegas scheme with After Effects. Um, okay, once you have your clip here, you can just play it. Simple shit like that, yeah. Um, anyway, 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 after that, you want to go to effect, the effect tab. You want to scroll down here. Let's wait. I'm just going to add magic bullet looks just for just for the bling. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just feel like adding after the magic bullet looks just for the bling, the bling bling. No, wait up. I'm just gonna do it for the bling. Okay. And yes, I know these looks are presets. I still haven't got used to making my own legit After Effects Magic Bullet looks, but yeah, it's still pretty good. Actually, I'm just gonna have this one. Simple but pretty good. Okay, um, yeah, sorry for that, I just feel like adding a color corrector. Um, anyway, once you got that done, if you want magic bullet looks in your clip, of course, to make it look better, um, you go to your effect tab, and you'll see No Light Factory. When you go to No Light Factory, just click No Light Factory, oh, Light Factory EZ. When you come across, when you come across, um, Light Factory EZ, you have... Brightness, um, I usually have brightness 150, so it's like the proper light, and that's, yeah, that's like the most legit people use. Um, and when you come up to flare type, this is the original one, 35 millimeter, um, you got all these shitloads of lights to use. The one I used in my promo to edit was red laser. 
that one right there, and that's pretty sexy. I like that one there. Um, and you can just play around with all the lights to what you like, I guess. That's fucking shitloads bright. <laughs> Pink star. Um, sorry for my story too. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this and see what it looks like if I drag it right out. Wow, wow. That is not great. Okay, just, just tab there. Okay, all good. Um, so if I just I could drag it up here. <laughs> it's more suggested to at it where the sun is, but yeah, actually that's a bit too, what, bleh, um, wow, well, I don't like that, there's some crappy looking ones which may not really look as great, or as sexy, that's, yeah, here we go, it's the simplest one, <laughs> simplest one, but pretty awesome at all. Okay, that's pretty much it for a knife, actually, like, you can have it up in the corner where you like it, um, you can have it where the sky is, so it's like, the light hazing down from the sky, and yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh yeah, and you can, um, also crop it from where the sky is, like, you can animate it, so it stops the sky is, to make it still stay at the main spot, you want to hit it, but this is just an example. Yeah, it's, that's pretty much it, the Night Factory. It's pretty simple effects. It's pretty simple to put in your clip. And yeah, may not look much. Well, that one doesn't look much compared to the others, but yeah. Alright guys, um, hopefully this tutorial helped out. Well. It's pretty simple, but for you guys new to After Effects like me, this would help out a lot. Um, and if you're wondering to get No Art Factory, you have to pay, but I got mine for free. Haha. <laughs> Just look up how to get No Art Factory for free. I know it's like, I know it's copyright, and I know that it's uh, kind of illegal to get it for free, but who knows? I don't got proof when you use a legit code to actually get the free version. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Peace, Saints here, I hope you enjoyed and I hope this tutorial helped out. Peace.